Hi guys, this is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stand. Welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how to create this uh, seeing through shaker card by using the circle die cut and then use the, um, the die cut that you have to build out this fish tank. Have you watched my last video? Last video, I was share with you guys uh, how to use the whole sheet of foam tape to create the perfect uh, um, shaker, seeing through shaker card. So today, there is another way to create a shaker card. Um, I we are, I'm going to share with you step by step how to do it. If you haven't got a chance to check uh, this video, um, that's add some weight on it. Make sure you check uh, our website. There is a four hundred youtube video they are ready to view so that's a started so today's project i am going to use our pump frame um stem and die cut set this is stem set i created in 2015 and we're going to use our sand background so the prototype that i create i actually use the river rock in the back and then i have no idea where did my river rock background stem goes so i'm going to just use at least the sand um background stem this video that's uh, add some uh, weight on it i will already share with you guys that when you want to create a shaker car you kind of create a little bit space uh, for your phone so that way when you folding folding it um it doesn't look weird so same thing this one when you want to create a car we are going to going to add um probably a quarter inches uh uh, space between so that way when we uh, add the phone on top it uh, just uh, looks uh, uh, much better and don't have to worry about when you uh, folding the card they don't line up okay so that's started and uh, i am actually using the 100 pounds car stock because we're going to um, do a shaker car right so it's kind of heavy so i'm going to um use a uh, hundred pounds of car style and this is just a uh, from michael's 100 100 pounds of recollection car stock and then i am going to use the the circle die cut and uh, i am going to use the least tap die cut to create the least part so if you don't have a least uh, tap um tap you can just uh, draw a square or just Cut the circle first and then kind of just add uh, this, uh, this, uh, this part. That will do too. Okay, so how we're going to find our center is very, very easy. Um, we are going to leave uh, around uh, like a quarter inches uh, width, right? So I'm going to just do like a 1A and I'm going to find uh, my 5 and a half and then just uh, um, rotate it and then do another 1A and then find the... Uh, in five and a half it and that's my score line so that and then we're going to just uh, folding it and that's uh, the space see that's the space we are going to um add the foam on top so if you think this is a little bit too thick, you can just reduce a, a little bit. So, but I found out because I want to use a, like a double layer of the foam tape. So it kind of give a little bit more space. And then the next is we are going to just use a circle die cut. You can put anything inside. I have this goldfish, you can put a koi, you can put the sea turtle seahorses jellyfish anything you like so um this is a little bit too big so maybe this one i think uh, was this one the one i used yeah this is the one i use so i am going to just uh, put here and i'm going to oh actually i have to put a little bit lower because i want to leave that opening part Here's something you might need to know because we have at least a space between, right? So if I folding like this and the run to the machine here is going to collapse. So what I do is uh, I just uh, open my uh, my car, I do this, and then now I kind of just uh, run through half of them to make a mark 
don't run through the whole paper because this part is going to um is going to collapse and then you are not going to be able to line up your um the circle window so just cut the half first um give you some guiding so this is what i'm trying to say when i run to the machine i already cut the front right and then i just run to the machine go like a two-third don't go all the way through so i have a mark in the back and then now i'm going to remove my die cut and then now because that mark okay and i'm going to tape it and then now i'll open my car and run to the machine that way will give you the perfect uh, line out so so let's take a look do we have the perfect line up okay let's do that there you go so is it perfect um because i add that um space between that's why it's a little bit tricky when you want to do the circle um like a layering circle like a layering two circles okay and then next i am going to create the least part <coughs> so let's do this one put my die cut away so and i'm going to use my tab die cut so let's do this one okay so my tap die cut, um, I'm going to just put around here. Okay. okay. So same thing, I'm going to run through my first, make sure it's a horizontal. I'm going to um, run to the machine, my front car first, and then um, same as the way I did the two circles. Okay, you can see now I did this one, right? I'm going to just remove this and I am going to do again. So line up and then run to the machine to um, leave a mark. And then so that way we can get the perfect line out window. See, now my opening is a perfect line out. Okay, and uh, I have uh, my acetate here ready. So I am going to just a seal Ooh, i have to trimming a little bit does this fit yeah i have to trimming a little bit to um to cover my front and the back okay so the car is a 5.5 by 5.5 so my acetate is a 5.25 by 5.25 so um i just have to put the sun glue around the corner here or you can just use a liquid glue like we just in case it's much easier so this can go to all the fine area okay going to just put my window on top and then the other one so that's my fish tin this one that's my fish tin okay perfect right so that's just uh, wait until this one is dry okay so why are we doing that we can do something else so um you can i have some left over from my last video and uh, this is just uh, the phone tape but but they come as a sheet so you can use uh, something like that if you have a sound at home is handy and then I have uh, some just uh, leftover. So what I'm gonna do is, I want to make a little bit um, like a thicker. So I actually glue two sheets together. These foam, most of the foam tape are very, very sticky. 
So it doesn't have to be perfect, but the ones when you glue together, that see, this is it. I didn't do a very good job, but it doesn't matter because uh, it's, uh, you cannot see. But you're going to try to do your best to glue the two sheets, uh, two strips together to make it a little bit higher. Okay, so this time I'm going to be a little bit more careful. So I'm going to do this. Maybe. Re remove my backing a little bit slow okay so here and then here I'm gonna just folding it okay so I have a two strip if it's not enough we can come back to make a more so now, um, the last video I was share with you guys, just use that um, jar to cut the piece of foam. But the, some of you probably say, hey, I don't have that foam, what am I gonna do? So here's what I'm gonna do. We, because there is a fish tank, it's kind of curving, right? It's hard to um, to put the, 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 the strip on. <coughs> so here's what I'm gonna do. You're gonna use a, a scissors just to kind of cut it. So when you cut it, they are more flexible. So now we can turn. So just around the, the, the space between each other is just around a quarter inches. Okay. Just like this. Okay. And then now see, we can turn. Just like that. So now I'm going to remove the backing. Just not don't remove the whole strip, okay? Um, well, actually, I think it's a little bit too thick. Let's put the back a little bit first. See, my strip is a little bit too wide, so I'm going to just uh, make a, a little bit narrower. See, you always learn. Try to fix your boo boo. Right? Okay, so now I'm going to remove the backing. Okay, don't remove all of them. And then I'm going to just find one spot and then we're going to slowly turn. See, it is turning. And then now we can make a perfect circle, but remember those uh, Phone tape, they are so sticky. So once uh, when you put it down, that's it. Okay, so this one. Okay, and uh, remember the double side tape on the side is uh, still have some kind of glue. So what I'm gonna do is you can use your embossing buddies just to kind of go around it and then make those uh, gluey part attach some powder. So that way later on when we put our micro B on top, the B is bees is not gonna stick here. Okay, so that's what it look like. Um, the circle is pretty good. Like like kind of um um line out front in the back and then we are going to use uh, our sand background or the river rock so this is the river rock background uh, the background you probably cannot see but that's uh, river rocks and then um, I use this sand on the piece of brown car so I already cut it and then um, just I, I was worried maybe it's not white enough but actually I think it's pretty good so I'm going to just uh, trimming uh, the button and then just glue it. Okay, I didn't glue my background inside a car because I actually uh, glue from the behind because I want to give some space that I can write the message on top. So that's why I glue from the back. It doesn't matter, it depends on what you like because if you glue inside this uh, um, fish tent, you won't have a space, you won't have a place to write your message. So this is a, a one way we can solve the issue by stamping, um, like by the gluing in the back of this car. So just put a little bit glue around here. And just put this one piece on top. 
okay if we use some extra glue we just uh, wipe off when it is still wet I think that's a uh, pretty good okay so this is uh, our palm friend stamp in the matching die set really like this set and uh, it's just uh, I just like this uh, chubby goldfish and then um, my first car the goldfish is red I am actually going to do a black goldfish have you seen a black goldfish okay so we're gonna use uh, these uh, dog glossy cardstock if you want to use a regular cardstock just make sure that you got to stamp uh, one uh, like a uh, two times to be able to get a better color or you can use a uh, um, cougar car star. Just use a little bit better quality car star. Um, it does make a difference. I want to make a black goldfish. So I have my colors here. I have a light gray, black, and I'm going to add a little bit purple, the highlight, and a little bit brown. So we are going to just, uh, I know it's uh, hard to see. So we're going to just color the whole goldfish with the lightest color, which will be our gray color okay just foundation color make sure you color everywhere this is actually the hardest part the later on is so easy so you can see that's uh, all the gray color right and then we can go to give a little bit blue just anywhere you like and remember when you coloring keep your marker on the stem don't try to use the line keep the marker on the stem don't try to color with a line because it will show. And then we're going to add a little bit brown, piece by piece. Okay, that kind of look like this. And then we are going to do a final black. That's give a black smoky eyes. Okay, so the eye is there. Don't just give a dot. Just go over. You have to build out by the piece by piece. Let's give some strip on the tail, some spot, some dotting. Okay, let's see what's the magic. Okay, gonna give it a nice firm press. That's the goldfish. Isn't that pretty? They look nice not because the markers or marker is just a good quality marker. It's really the stamp image that make it different. And then now we are going to have our seaweed here. Let's see we the water plant. So you can use um, markers. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use my ink pack. And then I can just uh, touch out with a little bit brown. When the green and the brown mix together, they become like an olive green. So... That's what it look like. And then we're going to do one more. This time, maybe I'm going to change the other green. Okay, I'm going to actually do a little bit yellow. And the patting with a little bit green. Okay. And then touch out with a little bit um, brown or black. Don't worry, it's not going to ruin your marker as long as you start with a lighter color first and then get a darker color. So let's do that. So I have a yellow see, um, water plant. And then I'm going to use some, my die cut. So create the guiding window because Local King's die cut is not just the die cut. It's a die cut also they do the embossing. And then we are going to just put on top and um, tape it so i'm going to cut my goldfish and also my water plant okay so i have my um water plant and my goldfish uh, finish uh, look my goldfish the black goldfish is pretty cool right okay so before we do that we still have something else to do um i just found on my uh, the front page is a little bit empty right so what i'm gonna do is i just use a few of my circle punch i just punch a few of the circle and then i am going to just uh, use uh, or magic mushroom so i'm going to just uh, pick up some blue color and kind of just uh, 
rubbing some color on top just kind of decorate it feel like this very easy so I just use the I punch a few of the different kind of size you can do the different color too but I think and then some smaller size okay to add some bubbles I think that much better than the leave a plane, right? So now I'm going to glue my seaweed. Before we do that, I'm going to clean this one. Okay, so I have a four seaweed here. I am going to put the two um, inside, like this. Okay. And I'm going to leave another two outside. Any way you like. Or, let's see. We can kind of like stack them together, make it a little bit higher. Okay. Or we don't have to use all of them. Put the one here. But I think it's kind of too green. I want to maybe add a little bit yellow to those uh, space between. So let's just do that. Ooh, that looks much better. So there is a some white um, space between the leaf. So I'm going to just give a little bit color to do that. I think that, that looks uh, much better. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of prepare, see. That looks good. And then maybe one seaweed outside in the front. How about here? I think that looks good too. Or is it? Yeah, I think here is good. So I am going to just glue two inside and the two outside. There is a reason why I don't glue everything inside. So I am going to just use my glue. Okay, and then if you want to glue inside, you got to make sure you put uh, enough glue. I put the glue on top and use my finger to kind of spread all the glue. Let's do it again. Okay. We want this seaweed is really, really um, stick on that piece of acetate. Okay, we don't want any gap because if there is any gap, after I put my micro B, micro B on top, it's going to stuck on top. So don't want that. And then for the goldfish, we can use the one glue dot to secure that goldfish. Or we can use a foam tape to do that. So let's just use a foam tape maybe. Or my glue dot roll okay I can't find it so I'm gonna just glue I'm gonna just use the one foam tape and then my goldfish is eating my seaweed now okay so I still have a two piece uh, um water plants here so I'm going to just uh, put it around you can even kind of just shovel inside the gap between your paper and the acetate and then glue it with uh, just put some glue to um, secure that because I found out if we put it inside and if you didn't really stick the like put enough glue sometimes the micro be um, just cut between the between the water the water plant so this way is uh, just uh, preventing those beads stuck somewhere. I think that uh, looks pretty good. That's uh, just glue it. 
And again, we're going to put enough glue everywhere and then just use your finger to spread it. And then kind of shuffle between the gap and then really make sure they um, stick. Okay, I think that uh, looks uh, very cute. And then use your finger. And then like this. I think that looks really, really good. Okay, and then now we are going to add uh, some micro beads on top. Okay, first uh, make sure every, everything is nice. And then we are going to remove our tape. And this tape is super, super sticky. Oh, actually we are going to do a B first and then remove the tape. Because if we remove the tape, any B is, uh, um, those micro B stick. This is just a recollection. Any micro B stick on your tape, they won't, um, so they won't be sealed anymore. So I think that's good. We don't need a lot. And then be careful holding your your paper before you peeling off. Okay. Slowly peeling off. Don't make those uh, bees jump on your phone tape. Don't sneeze. Don't cough. Don't breathe. Okay, just uh, remove this tape. Okay, pretty good. Okay, like this. Just try to peel off. Didn't remove uh, one of the bottom part, but that's okay. Okay, that's good. And then now we're going to close it. Okay, be careful. Make sure you line up. Your paper. Okay. That's pretty good. Make sure you push. Very nice, isn't it? And then I have this, uh, have a nice day. I think that will work well to put there. So I have uh, some free PNG file for you ready to download. If you like, uh, if you have a die cut machine, like a digital die cut machine is absolutely free. So you just uh, set up your offset 0 0.05 and then I use those storage to um, keep all my sentiment. <coughs> so there's a thing of them. So every time when I need it, I don't have to go cut it again. I think it's really, really cute. And in the back, we have uh, some place to write the sentiment. I just realized that uh, in the back, I was kind of reuse these papers. So in the back is kind of have some other color which is uh, very ugly how we are going to fix it because we already spent the time to do it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just uh, use the same die cut okay and i'm going to just cut a piece of white cardstock or doesn't matter you can do a piece of white cardstock and also two um two water plant and we're going to just put it behind it so that way we can fix our boo-boo i think that's okay see i made a boo-boo because i was uh, re reusing um the paper and i didn't know in the back was the kind of um there was a uh, some image already right so what we're going to do is we just uh, fix our boo-boo and uh, people human make a mistake and uh, i'm a human so i made a mistake but we're going to fix it so I am going to just uh, put a piece of paper to cover that. This is uh, the best part, you know, fix the boo-boo. So I'm going to just uh, use the finger to 
do that, actually, I think I have to do the this is C. C we first. Okay, so that will be perfectly. See, it cover my boo boo in the back. So nobody, nobody even know that was a boo boo there. Isn't it? Aha. Uh -huh. So I just fix it like that. Okay, and then the last step is uh, I'm going to add some three dimensional glue. Uh, so the darker color is the uh, lace. And then uh, I was looking for some light color, but I can't find that I want. I want to um, put some light color, but those are a little bit too dark. Okay, so that's okay. We mix some, so I'm going to just put a few. That's here. Oh, I have a list for a long time. Does anybody know what's this called? This little half wrong stuff. What do they call this in English? I like to purchase some more. I think that's a, that's a very nice touch up. Okay, don't worry about the glue. Well, if you worry, that's just a wipe off. Too much glue. They were drying clear anyway. So let's do this. Okay, so I want to have a different kind of bubbles and then um, I bring out the clear one. So I think this blue one will do the job too. So I'm going to just add a few. Dotting. And then make sure you put the sun way safe before they are completely dry. Okay, so let's grab this one away. So this is my black lowfish and that's the red. I think they all have their own um, uni way. And then this one, I use the same Stand, background stem. I think that looks pretty nice. And then the back, I made a boo boo, so I tried to fix it. And here, still give you some room. You can write down your message. See. So that's everything for today. Thank you so much for uh, for watching. I hope you like this video. If you do like this video, don't forget to give me a thumb up. It really means a lot for um to me when you leave me a comment or um give me a thumb up. Let me know. So this is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stamp. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.